Welcome to Rex Corner. Today is a, a very different show. It's not bodybuilding, it's not nutrition, it's not any of those above, but it does have to do with wrestling, it has to do with the Glow Girls, and it has to do with these three lovely women who came to me to learn some stuff in the ring because they're going to do a Halloween party in the name of Glow. So they're very, very new in getting in the ring and they wanted to learn some holds and moves and we put some things together which I will show. But uh, we had a great deal of fun, they picked it up pretty easy and found out that it's not as easy as you think, right? How so I've got out? Maggie and I've got Sam and I've got Marissa. Hi. And, and uh, they, they made a really good effort. So let's talk about for a minute. What what did you think about all this? It was the best day of my life. <laughs> it was so much fun. It has like rejuvenated my interest in exercise and knowing that I have to actually be in shape because yeah. it was tough. It was hard work. It was way tougher. I mean, I knew it was going to be hard, but I didn't think I was going to be as exhausted as I am now. Well, there's a lot to it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just physically, but emotionally and mentally. You have to know where you're going to go with something. You have to stop and think and think and think and think. What do you do next? And do this and do that. And so that wears you out. Mm -hmm. What about you, Sam? Having the permission to kind of get a little aggressive is very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, working day to day and having a normal nine to five and then getting to come here and do something yeah. a little more extreme was a yeah. lot of fun. You know, and I saw that. I saw as we moved on a little bit, you kept getting more and more aggressive and adding your own flavor to it. Which is what you really want to do. A lot of flavor. Yeah. yeah, I know that's good though. Marissa, are you here? Uh, I am here. I'm right behind you. Um, you know, I think it gave me a, a greater appreciation for the people that do this all the time. I mean, mm -hmm. they make it look so easy and so natural. Mm -hmm. And in me doing it the first time out there, I just realized how difficult it is to really work with a partner and um, choreograph everything with everybody and to really get it going. Well, you know when I tell you to work on the left and grab the left arm and do this and take your hand this way and you grab this way and this way and you don't know which way to grab, people take for granted that it's easy to do and mm -hmm. they see it on TV and say, okay, that's easy, but it's not. I mean, your hand placement has to be perfect, your foot placement has to be perfect, you have to be able to step behind and step in front at the same time this person stepping this way like a dance. It is very much choreographed and, dance. Choreographed dance, right. And then you have to have aggression and be able to sell the violence along with it. That was the best part. <laughs> what, what did you call it? Yeah, it was, it was a ballet, ballet. 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 Yeah. I call it ballet with violence. Ballet with yeah. violence. <laughs> if you could go back in time, not too many years because your girls are pretty young, and pick this to do a living, would you do it? I have been watching a little bit of WWE on Monday nights. I'm like, like Ronda Rousey and seeing all that, and it looks amazing i don't know that i would be capable but i was like we might have to quit our jobs and think about this as a new career i mean it was it started for halloween but this could be our brand new passion and you're awesome like meeting you and hearing about your inspiring life yeah has been really great today. i appreciate that thank you <laughs> i'm not done yet no yeah, no once this leg heals up i'm ready to go again yeah i'll take all of you in the ring three on <laughs> We're ready. It's on. It's on. Uh, Marissa, what would you do? Would you do it if you could? You know, I, I think, yeah. I mean, I would probably do it for a few years. Not forever, but I think yeah. it would be great to just experience the life with everybody that's involved. You remind me of a girl that I trained years ago, and I trained... Actually, I had nine girls there. They were, had nothing to do with the globe, but I trained them for a show that I was running in Huntington Beach. So I made, like, a, a, a six-girl tag. Mm -hmm. And they got really good. And one of them got picked with me to do the greatest race where you go around the country. Oh, yeah. A man and a woman wrestler. <laughs> and she really wanted to do it with me. And I said, when I found out that you're gone for three months and you might lose your house and, not, and you can't make a living, I said, no, I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. But she wanted to go ahead and do it. But she's still wrestling. And she's, uh, she worked at Universal as a translator for Japanese. And she became a wrestler. And she still does it all the time. So is it like part-time then for her? or? Yeah, I mean, she still does it part-time. But she's still very much involved. Even yeah. though she does the stuff with Universal and all that. And it's, you know, she caught on and she liked it and she just went with it. And this happened to a few people I trained. You never knew what they were going to do. And all of a sudden they found these indie shows and ways to work and, and have fun doing it and make a few bucks on the side. Season three of Glow's coming up. Just saying, if anyone's interested, when you see our videos, yeah. we'd be available. You know where to find us. <laughs> oh, honestly, watching the show and this, you know, that kind of what the characters went through on that. Yes, they're actors, but none of them thought they'd be wrestling. And then they kind of really all found themselves mm -hmm. a little bit more by doing it. Like, the mm -hmm. show is inspiring for women as well. It is. It is. It's something that most women would never understand. Now, when I was wrestling as a kid, well, actually, when I went as a kid with my parents to the wrestling matches and they had women in the ring, they looked like my fifth grade school teachers. <laughs> they were the next little mom, you know. They weren't divas and they weren't pretty, but they, they put a one-piece bathing suit on, they pulled each other's hair, and they beat each other up. And at that time, I thought, this is real. These women are really killing one another. But, mm -hmm. you know, they had to go for the TNA and all that eventually, and so they changed the whole way the wrestling works and it works for them would you do this if you could oh yeah 
No, I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's it. That's like, the plan. She's, let, she's letting her boss know right now, so this is my formal resignation. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Might not be coming in on Monday. <laughs> Yeah. She's dedicating her life yeah, to wrestling. Dedicating my life to. I wrestling. wish you had your school. I mean, I would look into like it'd be awesome to like for, for exercise. Where I feel like I could get in the best shape of my life. I don't this. need a school. I just need three of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Then. Well, I'm down. I'm ready. So I'm I mean, go. it doesn't have to be a school because then, uh, I mean, if if I have two people, three people, four people to work with, that to me is plenty. It's mm-hmm. an apprenticeship. I've had as many as eighteen. And then you've got to divide the ring time so much that you don't have time to do anything. Yeah. So it's better if you have a small group, but you can't just do one. You need two to four, two to three, three to five, six people, something like that. And then it works out okay. I think when you find, like for, especially, okay, I can say this for Sam and I, we're not super athletic, so I have to find things that I really enjoy. Like I like to hike or I like to do this. So something like this where you're Mm -hmm. getting cardio and you're getting everything that you need Mm -hmm. is fun and it's challenging you but also having the help and guidance to make sure you're not hurting yourself oh yeah oh, no, like, you we, like yeah we're us at home would definitely have <laughs> we'd all be in neck braces Impressive. you have to understand something everything that you learn out there every hold every wrist lock every headlock is actually usable in real life you could take any one of those moves for self-defense on the street and use it and you you do very well with it we work downtown so that's appreciated yeah, that feel, yeah. But, like, but i am true i mean people say oh it's all fake it's all fake no it's not you have a wrestling match, but you have a predetermined finish nowadays because right. you have to have the audience get excited about coming back. But from get to point A to point B, you have to be able to wrestle your way through that point mm-hmm. so that you can make it look good. Yeah. And those holds and those moves are real holds. Mm-hmm. You don't want to apply pressure and hurt your opponent because they all have families and they have to make a living. Mm-hmm. But if you do apply pressure, you can really hurt somebody. Good to know. We can I, when I that. first started doing this, when I was a young guy, I got in a fight somewhere in Bakersfield. I don't know what it was. Some bur- burger joint and some guys came and burnt me with a cigarette so I got him in the front face lock and I just raised up and boom he was out like a light a woman comes around I, she says he's dead I said I don't know but I'm leaving <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't, don't don't let that be us <laughs> yeah yeah I mean it was just I, I said I had no my own strength well thank you girls for coming thank you thank you so much it was and, amazing uh, I, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this some more we'll make you world champions overnight <laughs> oh, look at that. Thank you guys for watching Rick's Corner, and this is a new one for you to look at and enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. See you guys Bye. next time. Everyone, now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson, personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it. And I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrayson.com and order there. You can pay through PayPal and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interest as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.